Hello, welcome to Disney Talk Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about many things Disney and I can't wait. Let's get into it. First thing I want to talk about, me and my wife had to cancel our vacation in September due to the coronavirus. I'm sure a lot of you out there had to cancel. It sucks. I know. Um, 50th anniversary is next year. We are definitely going to be going to that. Hopefully they have a vaccine by then, but pretty excited to schedule our trip for next year. And I'm going to try and give you guys some ideas, you know, maybe how to work Disney on a budget. This year is definitely not the year to go to Disney. I, I hate to say that, being the huge fans that we are, I just don't think it would be a lot of fun. It's 100 degrees pretty much until November. Let alone, you have to wear a mask, you have to socially distant, they're not having fireworks, they're not doing any parades. It just seems like a really bad time to go to Disney right now. One of the reasons I wanted to start this channel here was me and my wife are such huge Disney fans that we wanted to bring across some facts about Disney, things that we love about Disney, and maybe some questions that you guys might have that maybe we can answer. One piece of advice I can give you is save your money. If you don't save money, it's hard to go to Disney. Disney can cost thousands of dollars. We usually try to go down in September and maybe nail that dining plan, usually from, you know, hurricane season in September to, oh, I believe it's September to late November, they give all kinds of discounts on rooms, and sometimes they offer free dining. Now, you do have to watch with free dining, because sometimes you can get the room actually cheaper. It all depends on how you want to work it out. We have been through all the trials and tribulations of going to Disney. It is a place that we just absolutely love, but I can't see going down there right now not having the, the full magic of all the fireworks and the parades and just the enjoyment, you know, of, I, I don't see how I would be able to, I, I know my wife can't do the mask. She just, she just can't. She, she would want to enjoy herself fully with the full Disney magic and I, I know she just wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, wearing the mask. It's just too hot down there. The humidity is as, as high as you can imagine. We're from Ohio and it's 92 degrees outside right now and we just got back from Kings Island and it was a scorcher and it's not even half the humidity as it is down in Orlando. One thing I want to have with this home Disney vlog is I want to talk about everything Disney. I know there's a lot of people who are depressed right now. They can't go on their vacation. They've canceled their vacation. I want to try and bring maybe a little bit of happiness, maybe a little bit of magic your way. One thing me and my wife do is sometimes we just go around and shop for Disney stuff. Target's a big place. I'll leave a link in my video below. I went to Target the other day on kind of an adventure to find some Disney stuff. There really wasn't much. I think they're selling out right now because the virus is kind of spiking up again and all the toys and good stuff's being bought up right now. We personally always try to go in the month of September because it's right around our anniversary and her birthday falls in the same week so two birds but this year just not able to do it. We're really hoping by next year during the 50th anniversary of Magic Kingdom. We're really excited to reschedule our trip. That's kind of where we're kind of leaning our our hope towards is that we're going to be able to go back and it's going to be huge. I mean, the castle, they just painted it uh, the pink and blue. I'm not sure how I really feel about that. I mean, it, it looks nice and everything. I'm old school though. I like I like the gray and blue. I'm basically doing this Disney Talk Tuesday because I want you, the viewer, to comment and eventually I want to try to maybe make this a live show so that we can talk about Disney together because I know there's a lot of people out there right now that are depressed and you don't need to be. Um, me and my wife, we have all kinds of awesome Disney stuff that we've bought over the years and, and she is the biggest Disney fan 
I, I mean, I know there's a lot of you out there, but she's a huge fan. She has all kinds of cool Disney stuff. We got puzzles, games. Um, one thing I want to tell you guys is uh, I play the game Magic Kingdoms, which you can play on your iPad, iPhone, Android. It brings a little bit of Disney magic, you know, your way. I'm sure a lot of you big fans play it. It's a really popular game. One thing I love about Disney is the, the magic that it brings. It, it makes you feel really good when you walk in there. You kind of lose yourself in, in, in a world of imagination. And, and that, I think, is what's taken me by this place. Me and my wife have been going to Disney World for years. My first experience with Disney was out in Anaheim at Disneyland. And I had the greatest time. I was like 16 years old. And it was... It was so amazing, and I never thought that anything could really be bigger than that. I couldn't believe it. When we finally got down to Disney World, I was like, oh my goodness, this is a city of Disney. And it was just amazing to me. Like, I think, obviously, the first place we went was Magic Kingdom. Actually, no, it was it was Pop Century. And um, I, I loved it from the very beginning. Like, we went and got our hotel, and I was like, man, I really feel like like I'm in a Disney city here and it, it was just such an amazing feeling and it, it really took to me and I think after that that night we went to Disney Springs and well downtown Disney at the time but I was so amazed by the music the passion the love of the place that it was just it was enthralling to me and seeing my wife's face at the time it was like this is our place this is it like, we're going to come here every year, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. One thing that's kind of helping me out with not being able to go this year is talking to you and talking to her and and just planning for the 50th anniversary. Because really, I mean, that's that seems like the next step. I mean, it's really, you know, it, it's just too much to have to deal with to go down there and deal with the virus and all that. And like I said, cases are starting to spike. We're just gonna wait, we're gonna put it off, save a little bit more money. You know, like I said, we're gonna plan on going down for the 50th anniversary. We're gonna, hopefully they'll they'll have a vaccine here. I, I don't know when, but we're gonna wait till we start seeing that this virus is going away and then we're gonna plan our trip. Hopefully a year from September, I'd like to have it around our anniversary and her birthday. That works out great for us. Our anniversary dinner is usually via Napoli at Epcot. It's like 30 bucks. You get a huge pizza. I mean, you can't even eat it all. Well, unless you're me. I got to tell you, it is absolutely fantastic. I mean, I, I love this place. If ever you're down at Epcot, I highly recommend getting a reservation. Me and my wife, we plan our own vacations now because we've been doing this for a long time. So it's like we know which ways to save money. And I know when you hear save money at Disney, that's not really a thing. But there are ways that, you know, if you're trying to budget yourself, it can be done. Um, we like staying on property, but staying on property does get really expensive. I mean, it's great. They have transportation right to the park. I know they just, you know, they built the Skyliner. We love the Skyliner. I mean, it takes you right from Pop Century to, uh, I believe it's either Hollywood Studios or Epcot. And it's it's an awesome ride. And you're there in like five minutes. You don't even have to drive. We normally, when we drive down there, we leave our car parked. I keep trying to get her to fly, but we love driving because we can bring home a lot of souvenirs. And boy, do we have a lot of souvenirs. Got my Mickey hat here. And my Splash Mountain t-shirt. Of course, that might turn into Princess and the Frog t-shirt. I, I wanna, we might touch on that next Tuesday. I am a little disappointed about the Splash Mountain thing. Mostly because I just love the ride. I mean, it's probably one of my favorite rides and the I whistle zippity doo dah all the way down to Florida, so it's kind of my song. So, we'll, we might touch on that next week or something. I really only want to bring happy thoughts this week. When we first started going down, uh, the, our travel agent was fantastic. I mean, he he told us the deals. He he's actually the one that got us on the free dining plan 
which that was amazing. And they usually bring back that dining plan every fall. I'm not really sure if they're doing it this fall. Since we had to cancel our vacation, I haven't really been paying too much attention to that. I've kind of been looking forward to the next year and seeing, you know, if we can do it in September and it works out for the free dining, great. Um, like I said, we, we have a little Disney fund that we set aside money for every month so that when the time comes to spend it, you know, we're, uh, we're ready. And that's the key. That's the key. You have to save. You got to, you got to put a little bit of money away every month. And while you're doing that, keep an eye on the deals, look up Disney websites, see, see what they're doing. See the, see the new news and stuff. I also plan in the future here on the Disney talk Tuesday that, um, I'm going to try and go over some of those deals so that I can bring them to you and I, I'll give you my opinion whether whether they're good or not. Sometimes they throw stuff out there and it sounds great. Uh, one time we were going to do the dining plan and it was actually cheaper for us to just book the hotel and get the savings on the hotel than to actually get the dining plan because that year it was like one or the other. You either got a deal on the hotel or you got a deal on the food. And there was like a $200 gap there where I felt like we would save about 200 bucks if we just stayed, got the deal with the hotel and bypassed the dining plan. And, you know, it's nice. It's nice to do the dining plan. Not sure how they're going to be doing the magic bands in the future, but that's how they would do it is you would get your magic band and then you would just click it on the little Mickey head there and it would cost you one of your dining points. I know the deal that we had, you would get... Um, two quick service meals a day, which is basically like a, a regular lunch, burger and fries. Um, they, they have them all listed like what quick service is. And we got like a snack every day, which, you know, would be one of their famous little pastries or brownie or ice cream or, or something like that. So it was like, it's a lot of food. Half the meals that we got, I couldn't even finish. I mean, now today is July 7th. July 7th. So I believe Disney opens July 11th um, for Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom and then July 15th for um, Hollywood Studios and Epcot. And if you live in Florida and I mean you if, if you live in Florida then you probably go to Disney on a regular basis anyway. I know we would. We would have annual passes. If you do end up going to the parks and you happen to watch my video, leave a comment down below after you visit the parks. Kind of let me know. Let me know how it's going. You know, let me know how they're doing. Um, from the looks of things online, it looks like they're doing everything they can to limit people, uh, socially distant, virtual queues, like virtual ride line queues. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. There, there's multiple reasons why we didn't want a vacation down there this year. One, it, it's going to be, it's an expensive trip. It's a lot of money. And, and like I said, fireworks are my thing. Disney has got the best firework shows on the planet. Like, they're themed. It's it's just amazing. I mean, that's, that's a lot of reason why I love it. And the parades, Boo to You Parade, which is their Halloween parade, got canceled. That's my favorite parade. I mean, the Headless Horseman. I mean, the the Halloween fireworks. I mean, it. we just didn't see the purpose of going. But I don't want to, this doesn't, I don't want it to be a, a down video here. I want to try and inspire. I want you to feel good about Disney. They're going to come roaring back. I know they will. We have all the faith in the world. Um, we've, we've had nothing but great times down there and we know that it's going to turn. We know that things will get better. So if you're planning a vacation to Disney, I, I, I don't know if they want really anybody outside of Florida to really plan a big vacation because they don't want you to think that this is what Disney's usually like, because it's not, it's definitely not. I mean, I can't imagine going down there right now. I, I can't imagine going down there and everything that I love about the place not being there. Now, you'll probably have your dining, all not all, but a lot of the restaurant. We love a lot of the food down there, too. I mean, it's pretty fantastic. I love Epcot. We always, it's always food and wine when we go down there, so that's really awesome. 
um, all around the world showcase. You have different little spots all around the world where you can test different wines, different food. And of course they have all the pavilions, which honestly, that's usually where we go anyway. We always go to France and get a nice pastry or Germany for some popcorn. Not really sure how all the lines are gonna work, but our favorite rides seem like they're gonna take a long time to be able to get on. And in that Florida heat, I mean, it's something else. And I will say Disney World does a fantastic job of their ride queues being in air conditioning. I mean, most of them are indoors, not just because of that, but because they have hurricanes and a lot of rain during the summertime. So when, when they were building Disney World, they knew what they were doing. They were like, we're gonna, we're gonna enclose people so that when we have one of these uh, bigger than you've ever seen rainstorms for 15 minutes in the summertime, nobody's gonna get drenched. So again, we're planning our trip in September of 2021. I'm gonna be breaking down everything every Tuesday. I'm gonna break down how we're planning, I'm going to break down every ways, every which way that we're saving money. And it's not just about saving money. It is, but you want to make sure that you don't just save money for the vacation. When you go down there, you're going to want to, you're going to want to buy that Mickey at World of Disney, which, you know, or, or Magic Kingdom. You know, you want to say, hey, I bought this at Disney World, not Walmart or you know, I mean, there's just something to be said about buying it in the park. Yeah, you're going to pay a little bit more money, but the the memory lasts forever. Another thing about Disney World, and I, I touched on this before, it being Disney City. I mean, when they say Disney World, they are not kidding. Like, I mean, we've been there probably, uh, I, I don't even know how many times, 20, maybe? I don't know. Maybe more, probably more. But we always find new things like there's a bunch of rides that we still haven't done. I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I know if we went down there this year, sure, you know, having done all the fireworks and all that stuff, we would still have a good time. But if you've never been there, if you've never been to Disney world, try to plan your trip for next year. And I know that's, that's hard to hear. I mean, it, you might've had it all set up and this, this might've been your first time going down there, but, from, in my opinion, I would just wait, plan that for next year, and all the magic will be back, and you will be amazed by what Disney can do, because I know what it's going to turn back into. I know that they are going to get back to the top. They are the best at what they do. When I say best fireworks, best fireworks shows I've ever seen, I mean, it's it's amazing. They, they do projections on the castles. They uh, Hollywood Studios, Star Wars, like, I mean, they, it's like they didn't have me already. Now they got Star Wars, Star Wars fireworks show. You know, it's like, I don't want to have to go there and miss these things. You know, it's like you go and you fly the Millennium Falcon and then you're there at Hollywood Studios and to not be able to watch the Star Wars fireworks at the end, it just, uh, try not to make this a depressing video. I'm trying to, trying to enlighten the magic a little bit here. Hopefully, We'll be, like I said, we're going to be documenting everything that we're doing so that if you, if you want to come back, if you subscribe, subscribe to my videos. I'm going to be doing this every Tuesday. I'm going to try and give you any kind of information that I can as far as what we're doing. So if our vacation plan sounds like something you want to do, I'll break down the prices. We may or may not stay on property it really depends on how the prices go if if, if it gets too high we will we'll go stay at, at a hotel close by significant difference i mean i think this last time we were going to stay at the rosen inn we stayed there a time before and it was really nice especially if you drive we were 10 minutes on the highway from disney i mean maybe not even 10 minutes we were walking distance to Universal Studios. I mean, it's literally right across the highway. It, it was pretty awesome. So I just wanted to kick this Disney Talk Tuesday off to kind of maybe get you hyped up a little bit. I know a lot of people have canceled their vacations, and I, and I hate that, but you probably did it for a good reason. You probably thought of everything that I've, I've been talking about. I hope here in the future we can... We can get back down there. Hope. I know here in the future we can get back down there and we're going to have a blast. The 50th anniversary is going to be great. 
looks like they're doing a lot of stuff. Tron, Tron is a new roller coaster that they're building. Looks like it's almost done. It looks incredible. I know Magic Kingdom, Disney has all kinds of plans coming up for their 50th anniversary. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Lots and lots of pins and plushies and lightsabers. So I don't want to make this video super long. I just kind of wanted to introduce my Disney Talk Tuesdays. I really want to kind of do this so that all the super fans, fans, and if you've never been there before, maybe you can come to my channel, subscribe, hit the bell so that you get a notification. I'm going to be posting these videos every Tuesday and it's going to be a great journey. We'll get through this together. The Disney magic will be back and it is going to be a blast and I, I can't wait. If you have any questions, if you have any questions or comments on how maybe you can save money on Disney or what's your plan for Disney? Are you planning on going to 50th? Did you have to cancel your plans? Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you feel. That's what I'm here for. I, I want to hear you guys. I want to hear your stories, what you're doing and how you're going to do it in the future. I, you know, I think I've, I'm over it. You know, we, we canceled our trip a few months ago. Like I said, I'm over it. We're, we're on to the next phase. So we start now, we start fresh, we save our money. We know, luckily for us, we've been to Disney so much that we know what we want to do. We know where we want to spend our money. That helps. That helps when you've been down there a lot, you know how much generally things are going to cost. So, you know, how much you're going to be spending, basically. Especially if you do a big vacation. We're probably going to go for two weeks. Solid two weeks. 14, 15 days. We miss this year. We're going to make up for it next year. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Disney Talk Tuesday. I appreciate you guys joining me. Hopefully, I've brought a little bit of magic your way. Hopefully, a little bit of inspiration. Like I said, I'm going to be posting videos every Tuesday. Come back, and we'll talk about it. Hopefully, maybe at some point... I'll start doing a live show. Maybe we can talk together and we'll talk about Disney together. Whatever, whatever sounds good. But leave me a like, subscribe down below. And with that, I'm out. Remember, the adventure is out.